there. All you abnormal people in an abnormal world. <laughs> so much is changing on every level, everywhere, with everybody. And we all say, will it ever be normal again? I want my normal life back. We sigh and we long to change everything back. So when you long for normal, remember, normal can be boring. <laughs> Although it also can be sometimes comforting, you know, the same old, same old. Normal can be depressing. But sometimes normal can be restful just so you don't have to deal with change. Ah, that word, it's the C word, change. Normal can be frustrating. Normal can make you want something different, although we hardly remember that. <laughs> normal can make you long for it when it's drastically taken away. <laughs> so this week I had a dream. And in the dream, I was meet, in a meeting, I was moving amongst the people, and suddenly I became aware that I had a brand new baby. And the baby was lying on my chest in one of those sling kind of things, so it feels like it's a part of your body. So the baby had her head almost where my heartbeat was, and at first, of course, I was a little disturbed. What am I going to do with a new baby? But as I moved throughout the meeting, I became aware with surprise that this baby was like, part of my body, right over my heart, the body, the baby never cried, the baby never demanded attention, but it was just a part of me as I moved through the people. And I became overwhelmed with massive love for this baby and I, I would move through the meeting and stroke the baby's head and I was overwhelmed with this tenderness and that, that quality of love that only God can give. It was so strong that when I woke up, that love carried me out of the dream into my day all day long. And as I pondered this dream, I realized that although this new life was definitely different from my normal structure and way of doing things, it seemed to be a wonderful new life for which I was filled with great love. And I learned as I went about to accept this amazing and unprecedented new treasure that's a part of my new normal. We have coming a supernatural new normal, a new supernatural normal. <laughs> and the Lord says, treasure this coming new life and receive it with joy. When death is battering down the door, oh my goodness, we all feel like we're, we're in a war. It's hard to recognize the new, much less uh, stuff that's opposite from our other life, especially as death continues and continues to wear us down. But resist death, resist the devil, and let the new life in and embrace it and love it because Holy Spirit is hovering and birthing just as he overshadowed Mary. And look at the incredible life-changing, world-changing, history-changing life that was born in that hour. So tenderly embrace and love and recognize that new life. Treasure it. Focus on it. Give it all of yourself, letting the past normal go. The past is no longer new. And we didn't necessarily like it anyway, but at least it was familiar. But whatever God births in your life is the new best, the new wonderful, the new anointed, the new zeal. And in renewed faith as you give it all your attention and love, you and that precious new life will grow and become your future. It'll become your fulfillment, your passion, and your new supernatural normal. But new normal doesn't feel like normal, we cry. <laughs> That's why we must not long for past normal, but let it go and look to the new normal, the new breath, the new wind that sweeps all away. And soon we will see that past as grave clothes <laughs> and we'll have the ability come to us and the strength come to us to rejoice in its passing away. 
we will see the new wind as it revives, reforms, transforms, births, and ushers in a new glimpse of glory. The new supernatural normal will reveal glory upon glory upon glory and joy will be our food and our supernatural manna, our food of glory. <laughs> the past is over. Wave bye-bye. The past is over. Look up with joy and expectation for glory is in the winds of God blowing fresh upon us. Morning has endured for the night, but joy is breaking forth with the breaking of this new day. Lord, we ask you, take off the dark glasses of grief and acclimate our eyes to the brilliance of the full day. The brilliant full day is our new supernatural normal. <laughs> Throw out your arms, open wide to embrace what God is doing now so much more wonderful than ever before. Fill your lungs with new, fresh wind. Fill your heart with new joy. Rejoice that the past is gone and behold, He truly, truly does do a new thing. Amen. It's the new supernatural normal. Let's rejoice and be glad in it today. God bless you guys.